Hello, and welcome back. So we're picking up here with the radio panel and how we're gonna download quickly a device and bring it into our existing profile. So let's go ahead, jump in and get started. So when we fire up spad.next and we plugged in our radio panel, there it is showing up nice and pretty. Now, obviously, I've got a profile that I was using and I was happy with, so I may not be looking to go and download an entire profile. Instead, we're going to use the online snippet system. Now, when you come into the panel page, I have all of my panel devices on the left hand side. The one I have selected, I get the image in the middle and currently Aside from device settings, like re renaming the device, there's not much other stuff I can do. Well, virtual power. The rest of it is grayed out because we haven't selected anything. Now, the way the UI works with the radio panel is you have two sections, the top row and the bottom row. When you select that section, it will now tell you that this is the upper COM1 selector and this will then display any events you have assigned to the COM1 selector for the displays, the rotary knob and the button. If I select the lower area it will highlight and tell me which in this case transponder selector and what events would be on it. Now, since we want the entire device, I'm just going to click on any of these windows. I'm going to go to online snippets. Like we saw before, each one of those sections is broken up and I could just pull in elements having to do with COM1. However, we want the complete device. And so what's really nice about this is you have all kinds of panels that have been published. Some of them are based on different airplanes and if you want only specific to your airplane or ones that people have said any airplane, that's what this checkbox does. So here we've got uh, 50 items, 116 filtered. If we turn off that, we'll now see 73 items uh, 93 filtered. So again, because we're on the complete device. So we want to show only for current aircraft. And because I know I'm looking for my stuff, I can also type in a name of a user. I'm going to look for Les O'Reilly. This one was not specific to the SR-22 and it should work with any of the G-1000s or pretty much anything based on the standard included airplanes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on it, click OK. It's going to now prompt us, do we want to replace all events? And we're going to say yes. So now that it's replaced all events, everything is assigned to our control panel. So the first one is COM1. When you move it to COM2, the displays are going to change. You click on it. You can see all the information that's been assigned. So obviously we can adjust the outer, the inner, we can swap the, the COM. And then NAV1, NAV2, ADF, DME, and transponder. Now the transponder works where the inner knob is going to change your digit, toggle your transponder digit, and the outer knob is actually turning on the standby state. So here we're in standby, that would be uh, mode C, and then you have altitude reporting with mode four. So that's also built in. We're gonna cover more of each one of these really cool features in this control panel, but we'll do that in the next video. We just wanted to make this one real quick so everybody can see it's really easy to take any device, plug it in, jump into your plane and then hit up the online snippets and look for something that you can pull down for your panel. If you liked it, you know the deal. Please hit that like button. And if you could take the time and just subscribe, you'll get notified when I drop more of these videos. As always, thanks a lot for watching. 
Have a great day.